Show my friendly eye and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get back into Tell Me Why. Okay, so we've got two more puzzles and clearly I need to fill in the gaps. <laughs> I've been so bad at finding collectibles. I think I've missed another the one. The bears gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? A fish berries and bluebells we open up the book and check huh. fresh caught salmon hazelnuts no or not a handful of ripe berries mm-hmm a newly bloomed bluebell nice wow okay let's have a look at this Man, one he had it bad just couldn't let go Sorry for the note under the door like a prison inmate. You okay? I hope I didn't ruin ev everything. I know I probably came on kind of strong, but the thing is, I don't know how to talk to a woman like you. You are strong and kind and you know so much, it's hard for me to know how to keep up. The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh... Okay, so we've got fruit, nuts, eggs. Fruit? Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? This eggs. I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Spoons, plates, forks, knives, and blankets. What if they took some spoons? That's it. <laughs> I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. She put a save. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've only done those two. There's another two here. Cool. The very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? Storm has blown shingles off the roof and planks off the walls and even bent a post upon which the house stood. Okay, so it was the roof. The wall and a pole. Uh, she fixed the roof shingles. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. And um, a pole. She slapped there. the post with the. All right. Huh. Okay. This is fun. Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah. He, um. He doesn't really like to talk about her. Dear Marianne, you cover your ears every time I try to have this conversation with you, so I thought I'd have a better chance of doing this in a letter. So, the old beaver in the story is Eddie's mum. And she passed away. There was like another letter that I, that we seen in Eddie's house with just Allison at the start of chapter three, which said something similar that mum knew that she was about to leave. Um, like about to die so she just wanted to say one last goodbye hmm one more the crafty goblins good deeds of course the goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican uh, well what did they do you know I don't really remember so for stealing the food, the pelican, which I'm guessing was Tessa, uh, told the goblins to be nice to the other creatures. So they found the moose struggling with a hard to reach itchy spot on his back. So they climbed up and gave it a good scratch in. So they scratched the moose's back. They helped the old bear get honey. And they found the princess crying over lo a loss that she would not speak about. Oh. And they 
gave her a hug. Okay, so we scratched the moose's back, we got the bear some honey, and we hugged the princess. They broke open the beehive for the bear. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. And we hugged mom. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Nailed it. Yay! Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. So Tessa wanted to be in business with Mimi Ann. And they needed a loan of $20,000. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I think we're done. Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. Just beautiful, isn't it? What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. Yeah. Still kind of want to know who the Mad Hunter is, Let's actually. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. What's another Tuffy? Come on. Yes. Almost. Ooh. Who was it? <gasps> Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she she must have. Uh, she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Uh, what should we do now? Yeah, call uh, him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. I knew he was obsessed talking to Allison uh, outside of Eddie's house, but what? And I knew Tessa was obsessed with lying about Sam and maybe Anne having a an affair. Oh wow! But. What? Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Tessa's been... Um, Ali's been working for him. For, like, years. <sighs> See, never trust a politician. <laughs> He wanted to be mayor. <laughs> Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. Both things are bad, but that one's worse. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment. 
but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. Hey, you hearing me? Yep, sorry. I'm trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. No, oh, Tyler. Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Ellie. I'd rather not think about it. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. And he really wants to be mayor. Seriously hurt you. Yeah. You should the whole fucking coward. Thing down. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. <laughs> nah. Excuse tell me. Everyone. You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. Is it killer? So she doesn't Tessa know? already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Well, she's not gonna oh, say Lord. anything. You should try talking to your wife. <laughs> Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was Isn't unhinged. It? Something like this would have happened sooner or later. Hmm. That was convenient for you, huh? You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Mm, nothing at all. Joe. Your mother was... a very pretty woman. <laughs> and she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Nah, I'm gonna Why? tell everyone. We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. No, he still wants to be mayor. Not He's stop afraid being it'll mayor. tank his campaign. Yep. Am I wrong? Fucking politicians. Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it, but I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Marianne really died. That night I came uh... out here because I was worried about your mother. Hmm. <sighs> Why did they show it? This is his fault. This is his fault. 
No! No way! You're a fucking liar! I saw what I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her! Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? She's already told Ali really jokes on you. To lose um, he Daddy. Does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? We've already told him. And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. We've already told him. Don't touch her. <clears throat> you know I'm right. Nope. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. No, I'm gonna fuck up. A whole up lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. Any. And yeah. never come back. <laughs> this dude. Allie, you okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all of these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. No, like their memories Something's kinda... off because he put this in your head. Mixed. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. Mm. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler.
don't see why she took the gun with her. It's gonna scare a little kid. She had a gun pointed at me. Hmm. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? It's so like they got the memories mixed in with each other yes it's possible so they remembered her saying i'm gonna kill Fuck. you but it wasn't that night it was the night before i i don't know and we're never gonna know the truth are we because the second you walk away from something that's it yeah i guess at this point you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Mm. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? Don't make me choose. Oh, please don't let make me choose. No! I don't want to choose! Oh! I don't think Mary Ann wanted to kill Tyler. Oh, no. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm going to kill you! Oh I'm no. I'm going to kill you. I'm not going to hurt you. I don't think she wanted to hurt him. I really I'm don't. going to hurt you. She supported him. She, she loved him for who he was. I'm she wanted to hurt you. She wanted to support him cuz he she had the reason you're transgender child. Oh, but this is going to kill Ari cuz Ari Ari was the one that did it. Oh no. I don't think she wanted a word to her son. I really I'm don't. Hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Mom, please. No, don't do this. Allison. But Ali didn't know. What? I'm gonna cry. She was going to kill herself. Just herself. You interrupted her and... We... We got confused. Are you sure? Yes. That attic. Tyler. That was meant for us. It was her way of, of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here. <laughs> I'm welling up like... Hey, 
Peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? A little bit aged well, or just count bad? Uh, oh, that's been there for 10 years, Tyler. <laughs> oh, yuck. <laughs> oh. Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We didn't understand. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. Hmm. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. No, she didn't. Stop. The scissors didn't actually... I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This Did morning, I? I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But I really want to keep what makes us, us. Ugh. The mad hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the moon hag, but she did not kill him because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. And the Mad Hunter's Tom. So the twins saved her from Tom. <sighs> oh, I'm so emotional. I didn't want to full on cry. I've got like a full face of makeup on here. I didn't didn't fancy that at all. But wow. Oh my goodness. So Tom's our dad. And our mum didn't actually want to hurt us that night. But Ali didn't understand. And got really confused. It's that, that one clip when Alison, right at the end of chapter 2. That one clip where she heard i'm gonna kill you and then it started like freaking her out i was like oh that might be something there like did she get mixed up with um when she said that to the um when marianne said that to now we know that it's tom uh but like to the dude in the boat and the part where she chased him uh to chase tyler on but i really like i don't think she was ever mad at tyler for cutting his hair but yeah, 
let me know what you think about chapter three so far in the comments if you enjoyed the video smash that like button and if you haven't already and you would like to it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video i upload on tuesdays thursdays and saturdays thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time goodbye